Good afternoon. We're here in Washington, D.C. with Alex Cortez with Let Freedom Ring. Yes. And uh, you know, I came across your group uh, when I was doing research on this whole Delphi salaried retired pension issue. And uh, one of the ads that your, your organization developed to help support these people, basically they've been ripped off by the Obama administration in, in terms of severing non-union pensions in preference to union pensions. They're a very discriminatory action. And I really wanted to find out about what you're doing from Let Freedom Ring and why you're supporting Delphi sure. and what the, what the mission is. We're talking about this issue because the Democrats won't. And mm -hmm. So at their convention, they mentioned the auto bailout over 150 times and how great it was. But not a single time did they talk about how the the different victims of the auto bailout, and I think the Delphi non-union workers are the greatest victims of it. Um, so they had their pensions terminated by the Obama administration, and they were subjected to pension losses of up to 70%. This is at the very same time the Obama administration used our taxpayer dollars to bail out their union colleagues at Delphi. A lot of them worked side by side, literally doing the same job for years, making around similar incomes. One woke up one morning and had their pensions terminated by Obama. The other woke up one morning and had their pensions bailed out by the president. So these aren't the rich executive fat cats of Delphi. These are the basically engineers and, and other skilled technicians, but they were not in the union side. They were in, in the, the non-union salary side. They're middle class Americans. I mean, they consider themselves so. And I met with them in, in Dayton, Ohio. And, and you could see a lot of them spoke on camera in our videos about how they're struggling. I mean, most of them are retirees now. So 20,000, more than 20,000 retirees, mostly based in Ohio. They plan for retirement carefully. They counted on the source of income. And then it's just completely taken away by the president. And they're in retirement. They're not a part of the labor force. How are they supposed to make up for that lost income? In retirement, right. I mean, so it's a, a real, true injustice that people aren't talking about, and I think it's our moral obligation to be a voice for them when the Democrats won't be. I spoke to a woman from Dayton, Ohio, named Patty, and she told me her story. We put it on Texas GOP yeah. vote and, and what she'd lost and, and what was going on with that. But it, it really is, is a shame. But I found the ads, Alex, that you guys are doing to be very powerful and very effective in really taking that message out to the public. What can we in Texas, a state that's probably going to vote sure. for the Republican side no matter what, but what can we in Texas do to help let Freedom Ring get that message yeah. out? Yeah, so number one, share it with your friends. I mean, most people are on Facebook and, and have email networks of friends across the country, and so you can go to whymrpresidentwhy.com or on your guys' uh, site as well. You have the videos up there. Right. And so you can go pull it from there and then send it to your friends, share on mm -hmm. Facebook and Twitter, and obviously donate <laughs> it would be very helpful. And, um, the more money we could have to run these in swing states and be helpful. And so Texas, fortunately, is not a swing state at this point, but it's other states like Ohio um, and Michigan, where most of the Delphi employees are actually been based. Right. Um, and this issue is highly relevant to them. We'd like to run it as much as possible in those states. And of these 20,000 employees that were directly affected, most of those are in that kind of Indiana, Ohio, Michigan area right through there. Yes, yeah, so there's over 5,000 um, in Ohio, for instance, and where Joe Biden's visiting this Wednesday um, in Dayton, there's 2,000. Mm -hmm. So they're very highly concentrated in the Midwest. And your website for Let Freedom Ring? It's letfreedomringusa.com, okay. and um, this particular project, um, it's whymrpresidentwhy.com. So we're asking that question to him, why would you do this? Why would you terminate their pensions? Unnecessarily, that's an important point to make, is these pensions were 86% funded, the non-union pensions. That's higher than the average of the top 100 corporations in America. And he didn't terminate any of their pensions. Right. Why would you do it to these guys? And what's so shameful about it too is you literally have Democratic senators, Debbie Savinow of Michigan, and Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown, two Democrats, begging the president to restore these pensions. He can literally do it without a single dime of taxpayer money he can restore their pensions because they had so much money in their pension funds. They're relatively available to pay out for the next 30 or more years. There's no reason these workers shouldn't have access to it. And yet the Treasury Department testified that the reason they did it was because the pension was underfunded. There's been two independent firms who've said that's wrong. Um, and I think what really gets to the heart of it is just because this was so reckless on how it was executed. The GM bankruptcy was one of the fastest in American history, right. 44 days. And so I think that honestly is a root of a lot of the problem is because it was so fast, 
they weren't really thinking about it very carefully. It's a, it's a pretty complex company, GM and Delphi, so how are you supposed to figure out all these moving parts in 44 days? And that's why I think a lot of people just got thrown under the bus and they didn't really care because they just wanted to kind of get it over with. And we they have this mentality that GM needs to reemerge as fast as possible. And, and so what if these 20,000 retirees lose their pensions? And so I think that's honestly what happened. Well, and the speed, the speed of this destroyed the process that's supposed to be in place to protect the average citizen. The Delphi pensioners had no representation in this process. Yep. So they were literally just thrown under the bus. And in the bankruptcy court, out of the Southern District of New York is basically asleep at the wheel on this. They're not looking out for the people they're supposed to be looking out for. It's a shame that they can shop around for courts like this right. and find somewhere like New York. I mean, how is this not tried and executed in some place like Michigan, <laughs> right, where they're primarily based? How can you do this in New York? It's just insane. It defies common sense. I mean, there are there does happen to be a lot of Delphi employees in New York, but. I mean, GM is based in Detroit, right. and so is the vast majority of the auto industry. So why are they trying this in New York with some justice who isn't very familiar with the whole issue in the community and how it functions? And, and it's just a speed process. It just ran it through with no protection. You know, Alex, one of the things that I saw that I thought was very effective in, in your ad was President Obama said when he was running for president that he was going to change the bankruptcy system to stop protecting the banks and, and start protecting pensions. union pensions. And then he goes out and does exactly that. And we're all shocked. We're all surprised. Why is he doing that? But, but your ad shows that he clearly did that on purpose. We've seen, I mean, obviously people have seen that time and time again with this president. He makes these beautiful, wonderful promises in 2008 that I agree with. I mean, that most conservatives and independents and libertarians and Democrats. I mean, the vast majority of the American public will agree with a lot. I mean, to be the most transparent president in history, we've seen that here. How much have they blocked the paperwork from coming out related to Delphi? I mean, a lot of his great promises that we can all unite around have just been completely thrown under the bus. And I agree with them too about pensions. I mean, these people, like I said, these retirees plan their whole life, and to have it taken away while they're in retirement is a moral wrong. I mean, and so. His promise was right, if only his actions lived up to his words. Um, but thankfully, he still has time. I mean, the time to bring upon pressure is now. And considering he cares so much about his election, if we can make this a political liability for him, that's actually the greatest chance that he'll want to get rid of the issue by actually restoring these pensions. And so I think it's our obligation to make this an issue now. And that has the greatest likelihood of helping out these workers get their pensions back. And that's where we need our readers and our viewers to come in and, and take action. That's exactly right. Support Let Freedom Ring, why Mr. President, why .com. Yes. And, uh, and take It'll help you guys out. out. It's probably better to share it from your site. So pull off your articles <laughs> on Delphi that have our ads and on there. And let's share that and promote it. Well, thank you for the work that you're doing for the, for the workers there at Delphi or the retirees at Delphi and for the American people and getting this message out. What I really like about this issue, and I think your readers will as well, is this is just not another political issue. I mean, it's easy for us to all just play politics and throw those out as a political football, and it's hard to see how real Americans are affected because a lot of it is very deep, wonky policy stuff that we usually deal with. But I mean, these are 20,000 visible workers that we have on camera. I've met these people, you've spoken with them. You know, these are lives that we can material impact now. I mean, so it's it makes it that much more powerful and your role as a viewer in all this can be huge. Thanks again and please keep up these ads and we'll keep showing them to people and get the vote out in November. Thank you, that's very kind of you, Bob. Appreciate it.